Let's have a bit of a mad scientist moment here, shall we? This is a watchy, a little e-paper display, plastic case, a rubber strap. Now, obviously you can get a different strap. Uh, looks like it's 24 mil, so I've ordered one. Uh, you can get a metal case, which is nice. But still, I'm a little bit concerned about how the e-paper is just exposed there and, and not very safe. So my plan is a little play with a little bit of epoxy resin and see if I can get the done thing open, see if I can't make um, a, a more robust display. So first, uh, let's just do this off screen a bit. Bugger to pull this stuff because it's so gloopy. You try and measure it before you know it's gone over the measure. Okay, so there's that. That's 10 mil. Well, two things I've forgotten. So the first thing is I'm going to need some tissue to clean things up as I go. The second thing is, uh, and you should really do this before you start, are the rubber gloves because otherwise you get this all over your hands. Let's put the rubber gloves on. I've got big enough rubber gloves this time. So that's the first bit of epoxy in the little pot. Now try and measure the same amount, and that's that's almost spot on 10 mil. It's not hard, in, not easy in the first place, and I'm still recovering from a broken arm. So trying to turn things really is anyway. That side. That's another 10 mil of that. Put the tissue down there. Right, so that's the resin. Now I just need to stir it a bit. I think we'll edit some of this out when I've finished. But I need to stir this fairly thoroughly. It says until there's no more streaks in it. But the other thing is you don't really want too many bubbles. But the bubbles do seem to disappear, which is quite good. sides and everything. So that does look like there's a lot of bubbles, but well, say so let's see if they disappear. Okay. So this is the fun bit. So I've got the watchy here, and uh, the display is all clean and in the right place. So now let's try and do the fun bit. Pour it nice and slowly. Okay. Right. It's spreading out a bit. A little bit concerned about how many bubbles I'm seeing in here. I'm kind of hoping they will go away. Okay. So now I'm going to tip it a bit just to get it in all the corners. Yeah, there's a disturbing number of bubbles in there. I have a whole feeling this is going to come out badly, but anyway. That's a good start. So, no, actually clean gloves. So, let's, uh, let's have a bit of a zoom in on this. Yeah, there's rather a lot of bubbles in there. I'm not happy with the bubbles. And they are sort of coming to the surface. So I'm just hoping the bubbles will go away. Really, really hoping. I think they are coming to the surface and bursting. Now, this is going to take... Um, at least a data set. Well, it's still working, which is good. Which is fun. I'm a little bit concerned about the, the level of bubbles in here. I don't know whether I can just convince any of them. Oh, that's not too bad. Might be able to convince some of them to disappear. Yeah, that's a possibility.
Okay, well, come back that, to that a little bit later, I think. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, it's a little bit later. Uh, the bubbles seem to be clearing. Uh, what I've noticed is if you catch it in the light, you can just about see where some of them have come to the surface and you can just smooth the surface to clear it. There's pretty much no bubbles left now. So I'm actually really pleased with that. It's going to be really interesting to see how it is when it's set.